Be sure to check out our merch. We have hoodies, t-shirts, mugs. Link is in the description and in the Instagram bio at Scheme and Dream and Pod. Or you can check out on the website for snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. Also, if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Two in the Cooler, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Large companies suck our dick. Never underestimate the strength of little kids. All right, you got an intro. Welcome back to the Scheming and Dreaming pod. And- I hope you keep just that part where he said that little kids thing. Just make him look as bad as possible. Wait, what's bad about you it? You said if the episode opens with you saying, with no context, understand you don't understand the strength of little kids, it's going to look terrible. No, they're fucking heathens. Prove it. Dude, all right, are you going to take one... Pick one, like, 40-pound guy, like, 10 kids could kill him. A 40-pound man is a kid. I meant to say 40-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> no, they probably can't. They could. They probably could. How old are the kids? Dude, I don't... Nine? Uh, yeah, they probably can't. I don't think they could. I really don't think they could. Do a poll. Do an Instagram poll. Yeah, that has I don't to, give a fuck. It has to be a poll. Are we sticking with 40? 40 Cause that's 40 years old. Yeah, sure. Because that's right at the age where you start, start to, to go downhill. Your yeah. testosterone is going to start declining. You probably, yeah. You just got to start getting those testosterone pills back. I need, I want to go on testosterone replacement therapy. I will always want to have the same testosterone as when I was 18. As you should. I feel like that should be the goal for You're every... taking estrogen. <laughs> estrogen blockers. Yeah, that's insane. Because <laughs> I only wanted to, I don't know how any of this stuff works. You would take the estrogen blockers from Kyle. No, I had them. You would just ordered them. Yeah, they, oh, I thought they. Were they bombs. can't. No, that no. But that you think she's transitioning? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't question it. No, it came with it. Oh, <laughs> they came. They came together. Yeah, the one time. They so act- you took all the testosterone, and then just moved on to the blockers. Uh, when I ran out of the testosterone, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Oh, you're supposed to take them at once, so you don't get tits. Yeah. Now they're packs. Yeah, you had some fat tits going. Dude, I had some... I almost wanted to put my penis in them. I had some mommy milkers for a yeah, second. Yeah, you did. It looked damn good, though. Dude, if I would have saw... If that then was cocaine's like... a hell of a mix. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> um, Do you think there will ever be a time where guys could produce breast milk? Yeah. You will be. You might be the first one. I you think. ever had breast milk? No. I mean, maybe when I was a baby. That... I don't think so. Did I ever say on the pod I've drank breast milk twice? Yeah. Yeah, you did say that. Okay, well. You can talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to put that out Wait, so I know you drank it once at BW. Was it the same day that you drank it? Same woman uh, next month. Okay. (laughs) I became addicted. Yeah. How did it taste? Uh, You don't even like regular milk. I like oat milk. It tastes like oat milk. Like, I'm telling you, if... Like, you should put... Like, whatever like, came out that oat, all oat milk was made of breast milk. I'm okay with that. <coughs> breast milk would it. be great in Honey Nut Cheerios. Only the real ones now. <laughs> Are you talking about infants? Yeah, a real <laughs> one, I guess. Um, uh, Miles Bridges. Uh, do you want to add... Should he have waited? All-time uh, bag fumbler. Yeah, he's first team. First, I'm not going to Glenn Bias is did, also up there. All-time bag fumbler. Yeah, Glenn Bias too. Dennis Schroeder. Yeah. Dennis oh, Schroeder. Who else? Um, the trust pretty well. Yeah. Oh, there was one story. I can't remember this guy's name. But he well. turned down. No, he was a big in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And he turned down like a three-year, $30 million contract like in like the 90s. Because he just wanted to like go out, live his life, wanted to stop playing basketball. Went uh, sailing around the world with his brother and someone else. I th- oh, dude, yeah, his brother killed him, right? Yeah, his brother killed him and the other person, and then the brother came back and. Yeah, dude, I remember that. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. I forgot his name too. Bag fumbler. Yeah, um, yeah, Miles Bridges, not a very good guy. I don't think. I'm gonna add him to that list. Not he, good I, man. You know, I'm yeah, gonna, you know what? He's being a real jerk. Yeah, I'm going to take a stand. He's not a good guy. For those of you that don't know or don't follow basketball, he... Uh, hold on, let me find the full hospital <laughs> report. It was like a legit story, too. 
Like, there's some that you see that come out, like the Johnny Depp thing, and you're like, yeah, okay, this might not have happened. Yeah, this was, like, for real. Like, you can see the marks. So he was arrested for domestic abuse. During when he was a... For context, too, he was about to sign a five- or six-year, $174 million contract. Yeah. So the diagnosis from the hospital was adult victim of physical abuse by male partner, assault by strangulation, brain concussion, closed fracture of nasal bone, so he broke her nose, contusion of rib, multiple bruises, strain of neck muscle. And all of this... Was uh, in front of her, their child. So, yeah. Fuck him. It's uh, Tyreek Hill of the NBA. No, Tyreek Hill still plays. He, he just beat the shit out of his kid. It, yeah. Because his kid didn't respect him. He also probably hit his girlfriend, too. But, I think He that, did hit yeah. one in college. He, yeah. He hit his pregnant girlfriend in college. I donate every year to the Kansas City um, Domestic Violence Fund because of Tyreek Hill. And I always yeah, donate his jersey number. Yeah, fuck that guy. Every year. I actually remember tweeting that uh, Tyreek Hill's a piece of shit human being after we lost. Yeah. 13 seconds left. And uh, I had all of Kansas City Twitter on my ass. You actually jumped in when that guy Fred yeah. hopped in. And I started telling him he was cute. And then I started following him and then he blocked me. Because I said that he had a stupid fucking name. Fred is a, Fred's a bad name. It's bottom tier male name. Keith is down there. Uh... Ah, fuck. Norm McDonald is the only reason why Norm's good. Norm's great. I'm not a fan of, like, uh, like, ah, fuck, I'm trying to think if I know anyone first. Like, Bretts or Brads. I know a couple of Bretts. Actually, and at Fredonia, I knew a Chad. Yeah, there's some, like, Braxton's Clay. Like, just not great names. No, Clay, even Clay Thompson's got a terrible name. But his is with a K. Yeah. I feel like you guys both with a K, though. It's more racist with a C. You think so? Emily, throw out one bad name. Uh, Brantley. Brantley's right. a bad one. That just screams white privilege. Yeah, um, what else do I want to talk about today? Oh, Logan Paul signed to the WWE. Did he actually? He did. I didn't even know that. Yeah, he inked it. He inked I drink his prime drink all the time. You like it? It's actually pretty good. Right out of town. Should I go flavor by flavor? Yeah. Lemon lime. This is like on like the Gatorade scale to me. Okay. Lemon lime, like an eight and a half. I enjoy it. Okay. Blue raspberry, ten. Fruit punch, eight, eight and a half, or eight point three. Okay. Um. So you, have you tried all the flavors? Yeah, except the uh, rocket pop. I bet that one's good. Grape, I mean... You know, I, I've seen you do some gross things with a rocket pop before. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> That's what they're for. Yeah, you're shoving it down people's throats, screaming, I'm going to fuck you. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens. When you're off the box wine, it happens. It happens. So, uh, Logan Paul, he... Uh, he was a good wrestler, though. You think he's going to do well in the WWE? You, see, you think he's going to beat Roman Reigns? Yeah. Think so? I think that would be the funniest shit ever if they turn him into like a hero wrestler. He's a villain. No, if he was a hero though. Do you see him for uh, WrestleMania? Was he a villain? Yeah, and he looked really good, like doing it. Well, yeah, he's very in shape and athletic. Yeah, he said he didn't warm up at all. He did like a backflip, like he like full jumped up split. Oh, over dude, someone. I did see him do that backflip. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It's weird though. He became like kind of cool. Yeah, he's better that. than Jake. Well, yeah, anyone is. <laughs> Yeah. Jake Paul is... Like, this water bottle has more personality than Jake Paul. Yeah. He's so weird. He's sensitive. He's really sensitive. Yeah, he's too sensitive to, like, talk that much shit. Yeah. You think he'll box again? Yeah. He also makes fire music, though. Yeah, he is. He's got... <laughs> he's a great... Logan Paul's a better rapper, though. Yeah. This is Logan Paul. Jingle Paul's. Best Christmas song of all time. Yeah, I can't argue that. Get litmus with uh, Slim Jimmy. Dude, so the last thing I need to talk to you about. All right, what this is going to be a lengthy one. It's R. Kelly going to prison. 30 years? Yep. So I was telling um, Emily about this before he came out. We all have more money in this room than R. Kelly right now. 
Um, I think that. So if you didn't know, R. Kelly's trapped in the closet. Mm. You, you ever hear of it? Yeah. So he bribed the judge during trial and said, if I don't go to prison, I'll make more trapped in the closet chapters. Yeah. And I just want to say, I listened to trapped in the closet. The first 12 chapters, there is 20, 33 of them. Well, you can't bribe them with money. So the first 12 is when things get good. I listen to, I listen to a lot of them. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Take um, up R&B all the time. Yeah. So it's unbelievable. There's trapped in the closet. I think evolution, like everything that's happened on this earth, led to humanity being able to listen to Trapped in the Closet. I think Trapped in the Closet is the best thing to ever happen to anything. So if you were the judge, what would you have done? I have, I would have reduced the sentence. But <laughs> 30 years, 30 months, just yeah, make a slip I mean, up? No, he's a piece of shit human being, all jokes aside. Yeah. Rapist, child molester, fucked up person. But Trapped in the Closet Cult is leader. amazing. But he, so... Everything he does. I'm gonna, music. Have you right? listened to Trapped in the Closet? Just you experience the first 12 chapters. No, I'm not, I can't play it or else I'll get... I might like, not have. So I know his music. Every time... So all the chapters are like this. I'm going to do my best impression. All right. I woke up in a strange bed from fucking on this girl. And her husband came home. And then he pulled out a gun. Whoa. And was like, why are you fucking my wife? And I was like, your wife was fucking me. And then I hid... And then I went downstairs, and future me opened up the door. And, like, everything ends at a cliffhanger. Like, it's crazy. Oh. Like, here. I haven't listened to it, then. So this is the ending cliffhanger line of the first chapter. Now he's opening the closet. Next one is, I can't believe it's a man. Whoa, whoa. Next one is, call my home, and a man picks up my phone. Oh, my God, a rubber. Like, it's insane. Like, everything, there's twists. Is he singing? Yeah, he's singing. But uh, yeah, every episode, like every chapter, ends out twice. He should release it from jail. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely worth listening to. I think it made me come. It's insane. It's the best thing that humanity's ever produced. Did you cry? Wise. You will. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. Bump and grind. That in like opening thing was probably about a sixteen year old. Yeah, but like, uh, you My know, like the ignition. Like everyone know. always talks about those, but like. Trapped in the Closet is a real thing that everyone should listen to. That's the real R. Kelly? Yeah. So, and another thing I want to talk about, I showed Emily this video before we came in here. It's beautiful. Um, he did a concert in Ethiopia, and he produced a song. It lasted one minute, uh-huh. and it was only for the concert. And the lyrics were, Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Do you want to come back to America with Rob? Like that was it, and he did it like he did it like three times, and he got louder each time he sang. Did the it. crowd go nuts? I, it was a mixed bag, but he. So like the thing that threw me off is like it wasn't like stage, like he wasn't doing acapella, yeah. like there was background music. So like he practiced this for them to hear him sing this to them. That crowd just wanted food, but got our our Kelly instead. Yeah, it was. It's. I'll show you the video after. It's only like a minute long, but it's it's a minute you won't regret. Just a bunch of people watching. blank stares. They were. He him. was like sweating, like sing his ass off. He was a heavy sweater. He was a sweaty man. He's on the sweat king list. I mean, uh, I also think that they should make the next. You know how that Elvis movie came out. Fuck Elvis. What do you mean? Elvis is great. Uh, I don't know why. Because he died with 60 pounds of shit in him. Was it it really 60? Yes. He took laxatives for months and nothing would come out. And then he was taking a shit that was so hard and so stinky that it was coming out of him while I was on the toilet and he had a heart attack and died. That's how he died. I knew he died on the toilet. Yeah, but I want to 60 pounds of shit. They should have. If he was an organ donor, you should remove the shit and put it in a museum. I know. They should have. But could you imagine, like, when he was performing, how stinky he might have been? Like, if he was... He started eating a lot at the end of his career. It was months. And he was fucking performing. He was, he was a big sweaty. Boy. Yeah. But was he, it just all shit? He had that shit backed up. It was laxatives for months. He didn't go to the doctor or anything? He, probably, he got drugs to 
to help him shit, but it didn't work. What's the longest you've been backed up? I don't know. I shit a lot. I shit like twice a day. Really? Yeah. I'm starting to. Like if I don't shit for one day, then it's weird. See, I'm starting to. I'm getting back to like every other day, but I've been backed up for like two weeks. Is it hurting? Uh, no. If I get one poop, I'm good. Oh, I gotta show you this picture of this poop I took this morning. You sent me a video. Oh. <laughs> I watched the video, King. Okay? It was a big poop. I didn't even save it. Yeah, I've been snapping you for the first time in a while. Yeah. I recreated the all-time photo. Of your dick, of your face over your balls? No, that's a good one, too. Is it you in the bathrobe with your penis? It was similar. What it, What else could it you be? You remember the one where you're butt naked in the living room, and it, or uh, in the bathroom, and it's like, look at my arms, and then you're naked? Yeah. <laughs> and circle the arms? All-time photo. I think my cousin's done that a few times. He's done so many things. I'm still laughing about the uh, Brickleberry story. Oh, dude, that is, yeah. I can't get that out of my mind. <laughs> you ever see that show? Yeah, it's a great show. It's funny. It's one of my favorite shows. They kind of do the same jokes like every episode. But, but they're so funny. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they still they still make me laugh. <laughs> oh, they're, they're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Still laughing about it. <laughs> yeah. Because he's an obnoxious laugher, too. Oh my god, yeah, him and Lubke. And then I could see Coach just... Yeah, just sitting there on his phone. Uncomfortable, sweaty. Dude, Coach is so weird about, like, what he watches. Like, do you you know what shows he watches? Big Brother. Yeah. Burn Notice. Dude, Burn Notice. Holy <laughs> fuck, I hate that show. It's not great. Dude, I watched... I want to say, say I watched the first, like, four episodes with Coach. Because I give every episode the pilot and three more. Yeah. And it was so bad. It's I not, fucking hated it. If it's not a top three show on the USA Network, it's not a good show. No. Dude, the way the guy talked to himself, too, was so yeah. weird. But do you think part of that's the pressure of following up NCIS? It was always on after NCIS? Probably. NCIS was a banger. You can't follow it up. The nose yeah, so was my he's spirit watched that. animal. I think he's watched that like three times. He loves Lucifer. That show sucks. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer wasn't great. Um, I gave up on that. I tried to watch it. Lucifer's not good. I want to say I watched the first season. That's it. I watched like a couple random episodes. I still remember one where it was this little girl was talking to him. And mm -hmm. she's like, my name's like Roxanne, but you can call me Trixie. And Lucifer just goes, that's a hooker's name. <laughs> and then he, she's like, what's a hooker? And he's like, ask your mother. <laughs> See, that's just funny. That part was tough, but the show sucks. Yeah. I don't understand what's going on in it. Um, Dude, I've watched so much shitty stuff. What's I, Lucifer? One to ten. Dude, it's like a, it's like a six, seven. But, dude, like, the bar is just so... I'm giving it, like, a 5-3. Dude, my bar and your bar are just a lot. I watched Supergirl. Watched, like, two episodes of that to try How it. that? Dude, it's a CW comic book show. Watched the first two episodes. I couldn't do it. I'm going to stop you there. Did you expect anything? Dude, I'm trying to watch just the worst possible things all the time. You just fucking hate the yourself. The Flash. And you hate... That one was fucking awful. I watched, I watched, like, eight episodes of that. It was bad. You just hate, like fucking free time doing things you enjoy you yeah. just fucking suffer dude i was telling her because there's this actor mads mackelson he's a good he's a really good actor yeah. and he uh he's in like james bond movies uh, okay. like he's and he was in uh that poker scene was so unrealistic yeah that he, that was, he was him in it yeah that scene was so unrealistic oh yeah three full houses and a fucking uh straight flush like that's not happening yeah and then, what else was he in? He was in a lot of good shit. But he uh, he did this movie. It was a Netflix original. And it's like he was this hitman. It was like John Wick. Yeah. And he was this hitman. And then Vanessa Hudgens lived in his town. And she was super nice to him. But she dressed homeless. In She's movie. a nice lady, though. She's horrible acting. Great woman, though. Whoa. But she's better at Coachella. She's better at Coachella than acting. And High School Musical. High School Musical sucks. You rip that off now. No, it does not. I hate High School Musical. High School Musical's 1 to 10 for movies. 
The first one's like a five, and then the second sec- one's better. Second one's a two. The and second the one's, one's an eight. Like a one. Second one's an eight four. No, second one sucked. That was the worst of the three. That's bullshit. First of all, his friends like getting mad that he's hanging out with college kids and going to play college basketball. You talk about your own like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like everything. that's just you, you. Like they're just hating on the glow up. Come Dude, back to music. We need to talk about Polar, though, because this is a lot. Talk about what? The movie Polar with Mads and Vanessa Hudgens. It's a movie I was just talking to you about. I love Vanessa Hudgens. Dude, so she's like, it's like in the middle of nowhere. He lives in, like, Alaska. Okay. And so then he starts getting hunted by this huge fat guy and all the hitmen. Because whenever you leave the hitman group, they always got to kill you. It's like fa- the rule. Fair enough. Because they don't want to pay him. Yeah. Like his retirement. Wait, it's, they have a hitman 401k? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was ridiculous. So he's living in this cabin. He's rich as hell. And uh, he um, he's just living in like a normal life. And then these people start to kill him. Well, well, actually what happens is this girl's car breaks down. And he starts talking to her. Mm-hmm. And he bangs the shit out of her in his cabin. Vanessa and, Hutchinson? No, no, no. It's just other random chick. Okay. I got, no jealous. Name I got jealous for a second. Yeah. So she... Turns out to be like distraction while he's about to get killed. Yeah. And then he hides naked in his kitchen and kills everybody. It's crazy. They try to Gucci man him. Yeah. And then a lot of dumb shit happens. And at the end, it turns out Vanessa Hudgens' family was the first person he killed. Oh. Like, so that was a big twist. And the movie ended. And it was a total John Wick ripoff that just sucked. Well, John Wick movies are not doing numbers. You're out of your office. skull. I love John Wick. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think, Emily? Bless Good movies? Him. I've never seen them. You never saw them? The first I, saw, one's, I saw one in the a The first one's room. amazing. The one where they killed his dog was a little weird. Yeah, that one. It's the, it's so good. They killed his dog. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, I'd be pissed off, too. But it was an adorable little puppy. It was like, like the cutest puppy I've ever seen. It was cute. It was like a Baxter type dog. It was a beagle. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. It was a beagle puppy. How did you not tell? In the ears. It's been a while. It was a uh, guy from Game of Thrones, Theo Greyjoy. Yeah, yeah, Theon, Theon. He's the one that got his uh, dick. He and got balls. castrated. Yeah, yeah. by uh, um, Ramsay. Yeah, and Ramsay was eating pork sausage after. It. <laughs> I know. It's an all-time scene. I know. It's ridiculous. I fucking love that show. It's a good show. Um, I skipped around though. Jon Snow's getting his own TV show. As he should. Yeah, it was Kit Harington's idea because the ending was just so bad. I Arya Stark fighting everyone was a little like, all right, this is. No, nah, she's a badass. She's a queen. She switched hands. I know she switched hands like Jordan, like Jamal Murray. Dude, nobody remembers the Jamal Murray one. In the bubble? Yeah. You know, stop living in the bubble. You know what I want to talk about? NBA bubble basketball was off. The best basketball. Dude, it sucked. It was the bubble real. basketball was great. It wasn't real. Yes, it was. It was fake. It was happening. T.J. Warren averaged 50. Yeah. It's fake. It's just like you're scrimmaging. Like, J.R. Smith could have went out there and got 100. Yeah, it sucked. I didn't like it. It was fun to watch. No, it wasn't. Because at that time, nothing was going on. You could just turn on hoops. Yeah. Bars were closed. Yeah, that was the only good thing about it. It was just sports. There were some good games, though. Dude, it was all bullshit. It sucked. It wasn't real. I had a couple lined up in my head. Like, the Clippers series was fun to watch. They lost. Dude, it sucked. Paul George hit the fucking top of the backboard, though. That was hilarious. Yeah, it was. That was bad. That was a terrible shot. It shot like coach in the corner. <laughs> oh, biggest winners of NBA free agency. Did the Knicks win or lose? They, giving a dude $26 million that's five foot ten and had one good year isn't a good call. Yeah, it usually doesn't work out. Big Vill- Villanova. I mean, he's old still. Everybody from Villanova has played there for four years. He's played in the NBA for four years, and he's probably 30. Dude, yeah, he's old. Probably 27. I bet he's 27. Biggest winner, Sacramento Kings. No. They got uh, Red Velvet. I mean, the Celtics got a pretty good guy. Better than Red Velvet and Malik Monk? Yes. Brogdon? Malcolm Brogdon as an individual player is better than both Malik Monk and Red Velvet. You just hate on Red Velvet. No, I, I no, I hate Red Velvet. You want to know why? Why? 
Because they did a fucking interview. They're like, who's your favorite uh, rap duo to come out of Atlanta? Who are you thinking? Baby Ghana. You're not saying Outkast? No. Big Boy Carried. Well, he would said neither. And he said something fucking stupid. And he got booed by the Atlanta crowd. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, he's 25. Oh. Jalen Brunson. About to be 26 by a new season. Oh, shit. You got the Bob Cousy Award in 2018. He earned it. The Lakers won for agency, too. Going out, getting Juan T. Getting Lonnie Walker. No. No. Lonnie (laughs) Walker had one of the best layups of all time. Yeah. But, I mean, the Lakers aren't going to be good. And they're not getting KD or Kyrie. They get Kyrie. They're not getting Kyrie opted in. To get traded. He's not, dude. He's Lakers don't have the money way. and don't have the assets again. Oh, we'll make it happen. Who are they gonna have? THT. Yeah, they never will. He has Kobe-like potential. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when he scores four every year. <laughs> so Rob Palenka told me. I will say the one he scores game, four and has a rebound. The one game they I went got, off for thirty in the last. One game I got fed up with him, and I was texting you all this hate THT stuff, and then he p- puts up fifteen points in the fourth and wins us the game. Yeah, that was to get you to, what, 30 wins on the year? Now we were 500 at that point. Oh, good job. Oh, there's something else. They sucked. What else are I going to talk about in the NBA? Um, Who else? Uh, Utah got go – or no. Yeah, go Minnesota. To Minnesota. Which is weird. It's a super weird fit. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I don't know. I don't know why. Minnesota celebrating the playing game was still one of the best things I've ever Pat seen. Pat Bev. Dude, Pat Bev's crying. Fucking cat and uh, his girlfriend look like you and Allie after you make one shot in beer pog. <laughs> That's a tough analogy, but you're not wrong. <laughs> Damn. I mean, there's not much to do in Minnesota. It's cold. No, it's super cold there. It's a hockey state. Did you ever see when Kevin Love got traded and they were like interviewing people about... Like, how do you feel about Kevin Love leaving? He goes, they're like, oh, yeah, go do your thing, man. Like, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm happy you're here. Like, they, keep, like, they were all so nice about it. It's because they probably border Canada. Do they? No. Goddamn, King. You gotta figure do they out. border Canada? No. Every state that borders Canada is a nice state. Maine, great people. I haven't been to Maine. If we're talking cities, Buffalo, pretty good people. Hit or miss. It's solid, though. Go yeah. to Docs. You'll find the right crowd. Oh, well, yeah. I heard you were a menace at shuffleboard again, gang. Dude, I, I'm so good at shuffleboard. <laughs> Dude, Wake was saying how fucking terrible you were. That's Cap. Dude, I felt you like, were awful. I felt like Eric and I were killing it. No, you were awful with me when I was there. And then no. You were, Dude, you were so bad. I'm normally a menace at shuffleboard. King... It There's remains to be They seen. probably didn't put any sand on their the side. The first thing that Wake said was Ben was awful at shuffleboard. Nah, I carried. You're really bad at it. You're better at tic-tac-toe. I, I've never lost tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I'll lose my virginity before I lose a tic-tac-toe game. Congrats, King. Congrats on the sex. Thank you. So, uh, what are you doing for the 4th of July? Working. You actually work? Yeah. We get the day. Listen to how fucked up this is. I almost just name dropped the company. Because <laughs> you're so pissed. I was going to name drop the fucking people in charge, too. Oh, shit. So listen to this, okay? Right. For holidays, right? Yeah. We get the day off before. So you're getting Sunday. I get Sunday off. Okay. But since we have Sunday off, all that volume Sunday we have to do the next day, and we'll work like 16 hours. That's ass. That's 16 hours like with the other shift helping us. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Stinks. Call off. No, if you call off, you automatically get like two or four points. How many points are you allowed to have? Eight. How many points are you at? Four. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit, King. That's I'm, not bad. It's, it's I play the game where I know when they roll off, but last year I had seven for mm-hmm. a week. Do your so, points reset every year? They reset a uh, year to the you day where you get them. Like, oh, okay. But listen to this. What's so, your date? Uh, I are, I know I'm off the dome. November uh, 17th, one comes off. Okay. October 11th, I think. Whatever the day the Bills played the Chiefs last year. 
where we smoked them. Two comes off. Oh, that's good. And then I had that must have been a hell of a day for you, kid. One end of December because I had to poop, so I had to come in late. You got you got in trouble for pooping. Well, I didn't go to work on time, and then instead of because I was already late and gonna get a point, so instead of like showing up like ten minutes late. <laughs> Dude, I showed up two and a half hours late. I actually just heard this story at my work. So, one of the girls I work with called, like, our boss and was like, hey, I'm going to let you know I'm going to be, like, five minutes late. And my boss actually said, don't worry, Jake's 15 minutes late every single day. <laughs> now you got to do it. I know. I'm you run on your time. And on say, your time, you're early. They don't say anything to me anymore because they're just like. They let it slide. Yeah, they're like, all right, dude. When I worked at B Dubs, I was n- I wasn't on time for like a year. Yeah, coach told me the one time you showed up two hours late to a coke. Yeah. There was two days back to back where I was a combined seven hours late. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your least favorite job you ever worked? Oh fuck! Oh, I know this. This is easy for you. Oh, UPS. Yeah. Take us through a typical day at UPS for you. You didn't work, so you didn't work like eight hour shifts there, did you? I picked up shifts, so I did. Okay. For a while, I was working 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and then I would work 6 to 4 in the morning. Ugh. So, this is just a pure uh, UPS shift, right? Okay. My body's broken, so I go to sleep. <laughs> I wake up an hour before my shift. Yeah. Shower. So, what time was your shift again that started? Say it's at like 6 or 7. Okay. It's p.m.? Yeah. Okay. Because I picked up the shift. Uh, then I would immediately go to the freezer, take out a bottle of my choosing, and just rip shots. <laughs> because I did not want to go to work. Yeah. Then I would show up to work, do nothing for an hour, then I have to unload, like, you know, like the big-ass, like, 18-wheelers? Yeah. Or we had to load them. So the stuff would come down. Imagine filling that, like, from back to front and yeah, doing, like, sucks. five of them. By yourself. Ugh. Your back must have sucked. It was terrible. Yeah. It can be good for your posture. You weren't supposed to bring in your vape or anything. Yeah, don't they have, like, security? Yeah, you have to bring everything through a metal detector. Mm-hmm. Which is ass. You can bring your phone either, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's in the middle of Bailey, so, like, I always leave my car unlocked with the keys in it. Yeah, obviously. And then they have, like, these lockers that don't close, but if you put it in there, it gets stolen. Yeah. On the, uh, the load shift... Or the unload shift is where they didn't care who they hired all year because the job sucks. Like, someone got stabbed hmm. on the shift, and both of them did, none of them lost their job. Holy shit. Yeah, they hired this pedophile. That's a true story. They hired this pedophile, and then this other dude just got out of jail in L.A. Hmm. So he didn't like that they had a pedophile there, stabbed them <sighs> on the shift. Holy shit. Yep, yeah, both came back the next day. <laughs> Did they, like, dap each other up? No, they had to be separated, but. What, uh, yeah, that sounds awful. I would just hate my life at work. Yeah, dude. Like, I drove home the one day, and I tried to merge lanes and nearly clipped the semi, and mm. without blinking, just thought I won't have to go to work tomorrow. Um, I worked at this place called Reliant Medical. This is one of my funniest job stories. You keep it in here. Fuck them. But. Fuck Reliant Medical. Yeah, fuck you guys. So I actually got fired. And I worked a week and a half. I was I was being trained to become like a truck. Like, so the place you would get medical supplies, like people that like were disabled, like, like they needed a walker like, yeah. to live, like move around their house. They would order from this website and you would deliver it to their house because obviously they can't come and pick it up. Yeah. So... I was training and um, basically all I did. So we had to go everywhere from like Fredonia all the way to like down to um, Buffalo, like in one day. And your shift was over when all the deliveries were made. So I would go in at like 7 a.m. I'd get out at like 6.30 p.m. Oh. Yeah. And all I did was sit in shotgun and carry shit. So because I wasn't supposed to drive until three weeks in, I don't think. So... My uh, my guy that was training me hated me for some. Well, I was supposed to get his route, and he didn't want me to take his route because he likes to stop at home and take a shit because the route. And your hourly wage sucks. You just get overtime. Yeah, I made thirteen an hour, but um, so 
I'm like my boy, uh, a friend Kevin worked there. He also fucking hates this place. Fuck that place again. But he uh, he was like, dude, they're talking so much shit. Like you need to you need to bust your ass today. I'm like, okay, I'm busting my ass, I'm doing all this shit. I'm loading oxygen by myself. Like I'm filling the oh, oxygen. Like the tanks? Yeah, I'm filling oxygen tanks and loading them in the truck. The guy walks up to me and goes, "You need to go home." I'm like, "Why?" He goes, "You're texting and driving." I was like, "I, ha- I, you know for a fact I cannot drive the vehicle." I was like, "I'm not allowed to," and I was like, "I haven't driven once." And he goes, "Well, a decision's been made," and I was like, "Whatever," and I just walked out. And that dude, I want to air it out right now. Rob, fuck you. He. What's his last name? I don't remember. No. What's his last name? No. Keep fuck everything, you. dude. This guy is a piece of shit. He fucking abused the shit out of his cousin. He used to take shits on the clock. Uh, he chased his nephew with a baseball bat and hit him with it. Guy's a fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. And I hope you live miserable. Yeah, fuck go off. He broke, go his, off. he broke his elbow, actually. So I'm, Dude, that's a bad break. Yeah, fuck him. Karma, pussy. All right, I'm done rioting about him. What about uh, Damon College? Damon College? Ah. See, like, that one sucked for different reasons. So I worked there for, like, Three months, four months, like four months, I think. Um, all I did, so I was trying to go back to school. Would you make an hour at Damon to do all this work? Ten eighty. So, <laughs> and I was I was not living at home, so it's, <laughs> so and I got paid bi weekly. But you know the guy, the guy hired me. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, but my work there, it was not. I wasn't a big fan of because every person there was at least. 30 years older than me. So I'd be like, what'd you do over the weekend? And I'd be like, got drunk at a bar. And they're like, like, oh yeah, I went to bed at 9 p.m. And I'm like, okay, cool, dude. Good talk. Like, good, glad you got to see your grandkids. Good talk. Get those Z's, Yeah, what's King? the first world war like? So um, I take you through a day of my shift. I come in. It's about it's about to be 7 a.m. Uh, it was freezing. It was in the middle of winter. Um... I would get a bucket, and I would get a like a like a claw thing. Yeah. I would go out on the campus and I would pick up garbage for the first two hours, and then uh, it was like the inmate program, but yeah. with you guys. Yeah. And then by like nine a.m., I'd go back to like you know our little fucking shack, and uh, you know all the guys they're pretty cool. It wasn't their fault. Like I I didn't hate my coworkers really. I hated the age gap. But uh, I would, you know, sit down. I would just talk shit for a minute. And then I would go, like, move a table. And oh, then... You know the funniest part, though? Is what what were you supposed to do if a student tried talking to you? I was not allowed to answer. So, like, if any person tried to, like, staff... Like, I could talk to staff. I would do that sometimes. But, like, if a student tried to talk to me, I was not allowed to speak to them. You were supposed to say, hi, my name's Jacob Fazilari, and I yeah. work for Damon College. Yeah, I'd be like a fucking monk. <laughs> um, and you were the same age as these college Yeah, kids. I was. I, so, my, what happened was you can go, you get free tuition if you work there. So, you have to work full time, too, So which sucked. But I was like, you know, I could finish school, and I could just work this shitty job. And so I'm doing it, and it sucks, and I hate it. And then, um, yeah. And so, like, at the cafeteria, you know how, like, you get those cards at college yeah. to, like, pay, like, points? So I didn't get any of that. So I was paying paying for my lunches straight out of pocket. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, um, I eventually, I broke. So you're not allowed to call off or have a single day off. For your first six months of working. Jesus. Yeah. And I broke my toe. My big toe. And like it was bad. And I couldn't really walk. And so I call. I'm like, yeah, I got to go to the hospital. I I broke my big toe. And they're like, well, you're allowed to do it this time. But if you do it again, we have to fire you. I'm like, okay. Well, I have a doctor's note. They don't care about that. Yeah, their their was, PTO was ass. Yeah. PTO probably sucked. Yeah. I made 1080. So, and my rent was like 500 So, you guys can do the math. Paid by weekly. And lunches. You have to pay yeah, for your Yeah, I paid for my lunch. own lunches. I had to pay for food at my apartment. It sucked. I was dirt broke. I honestly have no idea how I did it. Were there naps for dinner? Yeah, I just went to bed early. 
<laughs> you don't need dinner when you can sleep. Yeah, and I was I was a mess. I would fucking I was just ready. I was like, God, just fucking kill me. Yeah. I I like told my parents and I was like, I said I was gonna do something. They're like, you get arrested for that. I was like, I hope I get arrested. I could just stare <laughs> in prison. I won't have to go back to that fucking place. You get free meals in prison. Yeah, that's true. Prison could be cool. It could be like just camp for adults. You know, you're on your fast track to end up there if you keep eating at Subway. I'm getting some on the way home. That's disgusting. Once a week. That's disgusting. Anybody that eats Subway once a week belongs at Metro. A little veteran tip for the people out there. I don't know if I said this. I did say I'm a double meat, double cheese guy. They give you enough meat. They skimp the cheese. You get double cheese, keep the meat. Dude. Who the fuck is watching this thinking that they want Subway? Get the only person that's thinking Italian about this? herb steak and, the Italian herb steak and cheese or what the fuck's the bread? Steak and cheese. Yeah, just Italian herb and cheese. Yeah, it's herb and cheese. I had my order memorized. Steak Dude, and cheese on Italian it's herb and cheese. Double the mozzarella, put some spinach on that. You it could, doesn't matter what the bread you is. You can get it's it toasted with the onions and it's the peppers. It's not real bread. If you get it toasted with the onions and peppers It's not on, real bread. It's going to hit. It's not real Throw bread. Throw some Baja Chipotle on, you're good. If they still had the sweet onion, I'd recommend the sweet onion with it. Emily, it, how often do you get Subway? Very early. But it I think hits I, every time. I think I've had Subway once in the last year. It's so good. Like the last calendar year. All right, I'll give you a fuck, Mary Kill. Okay. Subway. God. Naps for dinner. And um, I'm trying to think of some shitty thing you would eat around. Uh, canned tuna. Dude, I would rather... I, okay, so I trust the canned tuna more than the tuna from Subway. No one gets the tuna at Subway. It's still an option. So I'm fucking the tuna, marrying naps, and killing Subway. I'd rather starve to death. I'm marrying... Uh, I'd eat a Subway cookie. I'd have to make sure Subway's 18. They have a history with that, but I'm still going to marry Subway if I get the... If, That's a great joke. If I get the facts. That's a very good joke. If I get the facts, I'm going to marry Subway. Okay. They show ID. Dude, I am... Yeah. <laughs> and they have to prove to me they could drive a car. <laughs> okay. Uh, dude, I am fucking naps for dinner. Yeah. Sometimes a good nap really hits. Can't be hungry in the dream world. Yeah. And then I'm killing Cantuna. Dude, I ate so much canned tuna in my life. It's better for you than the Subway tuna. You put hot sauce in your tuna? I don't like tuna. Really? But if I if I did, I'd put hot sauce on it. All right. Well, that's a win. Tuna's I good. I put hot sauce on anything. I fucking love it. You don't it. like seafood, right? No, I love seafood. Oh. Well. Yeah, oh, I, I get fucking 100 million spam calls a day. You know, your mom, I saw your mom. I hope this one's real where it's like I'm late on rent. <laughs> Hello? Good shit. They don't even answer. Cowards. So I saw, Cowards. Your, mom, I saw your mom at uh, Tom's fucking porch fest. First of all, look at how many today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I signed you up for something a oh, long time eight, ago. Oh, there's eight, nine. Could be that. Nine's all today. Oh. But, but they uh, would say something. They normally like say who they're with. So I saw your mom at Tom's porch fest. Yeah. Tom was fantastic, by the way. Shout Dude, out to Tom. He burned the house down with his performance. Yeah, he did. Uh, Only performs for sold out venues, too. True. And your mom was like, uh, "Did you put my? Did you put our phone number for military recruiters to call?" I was like, "Yeah." She goes, "She goes. Ben gets so many calls from military. Got so many calls from military recruiters. I think it's when you broke your phone, and I was pissed at you for something." So I signed you up for the military. The home phone. Yeah, I put the home phone under there. They blew up the home Dude, phone. Dude, yeah. I was like, he loves 9... Like, he hated 9-11. Like, he would stand in front of the mirror, butt-ass naked, just saluting. And they... You found out I actually was almost a Marine. Yeah, it was hilarious. Thought about it. You were too slow on the mile? I didn't do any of that. <laughs> they told me I had to do all this stuff, and I was like, all right. I'm just here to play Smash Bros. <laughs> Played some Astros for an hour. Their yeah. opening pitch was, do you want to travel the world? Which is a good opening pitch. Yeah, like you can see exotic places such as Iraq. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I would love to go to Iraq. Why? It's really hot. Uh, like super hot there. I need a cooler climate. Or they have you pick three destinations you want to go to. So I would probably put somewhere cool like Fiji. I, I don't know. 
Fiji. Uh, I've always wanted to go to Cape Town. Well, E-Man went to Afghanistan and Africa. So, like, he wasn't anywhere cool. Yeah, he got the bottom two. My buddies in And Africa. New Mexico is where he was stationed. They had, they had a Chipotle, at least. Yeah. It was closed on Thanksgiving, though. <laughs> well, yeah, some people have families in town. They're not all in the military. In Colvis, New Mexico? <laughs> Never mind. It should be open. <laughs> all right. Any closing thoughts? Um... I'm not much of a thinker. Fuck the bubble. NBA bubble is the best basketball. You got your skull. I'll keep talking for a minute.